Hey, good morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Yes, quite a bit of rainfall as far as amount of days of rainfall in this forecast. But uh, I found some good news uh, on today's rainfall. Not additional heavy rainfall in some areas. By the way, Dearborn area flooded overnight. I'll have a post for that uh, for you in just a bit. But uh, streets flooded, cars half covered with water and people stuck inside their homes so bad in the southeast in some spots where probably uh, in reality half of the problem is poor drainage uh over time you know we put more pavement in and we try to divert that water that all runs off that used to soak into the ground and so uh, quite honestly the flooding situation a lot of times in southeast michigan southwest michigan is caused by our development over the time but some good news there on uh, lighter amounts expected for the rest of the day in the southeast and also some good news i think as we head toward the weekend so we'll get into it hey good morning traverse city and david and good morning tom ramsey good morning john from waterford here's the radar and what we're seeing now let me hit refresh for you here. What we're seeing now is a little bit of a lull in the southeast, solid rains over the southwest, heading into central lower Michigan, and that'll continue to move toward the northeast. So the brunt of the rainfall is going to be in, oh, let's take a line from Grand Rapids to oh Saginaw, north and west. But there will still be more shower activity in the southeast where the flooding has occurred. Now, one thing that happens at this time of the year is that the thunderstorms to the south can zap some of the areas of rain to the north. And hopefully that's going to happen. You see these strong thunderstorms. Hey, good morning, Zoo. Uh, you see these strong thunderstorms heading to the south. That can kind of choke off some of the moisture. Now, I wrote a post about this also that actually look at what's going on out in the Pacific. Here's our storm now. Storm 2 comes through Thursday night, early Friday morning. Storm 3 hopefully misses us to the north on the weekend. Storm 4, Storm 5, and look at this constant stream of tropical moisture that gets sucked up into this and that's why we're in such a stormy pattern if you want to read more about it you can on my post on m live here we go with the radar forecast for today uh, we are at 10 o'clock this morning okay to put out tomatoes mm, yeah i think so but you're gonna have to maybe cover them maybe so this is 10 in the morning 11 noon so what you're seeing is the southeast gets a chance to dry out a little bit wouldn't rule out some drizzle whatnot but not anything significant one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock maybe some scattered showers back into the southeast uh fenton looking at localized flooding i don't think so if you haven't had it yet i think it's more of a drainage issue um and the rain continues in the northeast the sunrise side of lower michigan and by the time we get to 6 o'clock tonight, it is done. Okay. It is done. Yes, the lawns are really coming. This grass seed that I planted about two weeks ago is up in Frankenmuth. Here are the rainfall totals out of this model, the high-resolution rapid refresh for this morning. Hey, good morning, Gerald Telly George from Saginaw. Uh, some people say wait till Memorial Day on tomatoes. I don't think you have to, especially if it's a few and you can cover them up. Get the roots established, and then they take off. And by bigger plants, too, I've found over the years, helps. Okay, so total rainfall southeast, you're looking at a couple of tenths of an inch of rain. Now, the northern half of lower Michigan, you're looking at still another half inch to inch of rain from... Oh, let's call it near Muskegon to Cadillac and Traverse City and Alpena. So there you can see that the heaviest is going to shift into the northern part of the state during the morning hours. Here's our computer model that goes out farther. So we're 
this is tomorrow and tomorrow morning and we're in a dry section but here's that storm that's actually out to us bringing snow won't bring snow to us i don't believe but we're into thursday night middle of the night and that's when another batch of snow come comes in uh tomatoes they they i don't know if they catch up i know what you're talking about hey good morning lisa Torregrossa from frankenmuth michigan uh all right so friday morning rain and the weekend right now bear in mind that we have storm systems coming at us from every direction so the weekend shows on everything that I see, a storm to the south, a storm to the north, and we kind of stay in the middle. This is Saturday morning. It wants to inch it up to southern Michigan, and I would watch for changes in this pattern when we have so many storm systems coming from so many different directions. But here's midday Saturday and afternoon Saturday. So right now, chances are better that we'll have a dry Saturday. And let's go into Sunday. This is midday Sunday. Here's a trailing cold front. Okay, I guess I I guess I learned that you can't do an alarm and a Facebook Live at the same time. Sorry about that. It locks up your phone. So um, here we are into next week, and you can see the storm zone setting up over us again. Yes, Jeffrey Downer, I had an alarm go off on my phone, and then it just stopped. So I'm back. So basically the point being is we have quite a bit of rainfall over the next uh, seven days or so, but the weekend does look dry right now. Here are the high temperatures, and it's going to vary a lot from uh, low 70s in the Monroe area today to mid-60s Detroit and Kalamazoo till you get to Saginaw. You'll be lucky to get 56 degrees. You'll be lucky to get 61 in Grand Rapids today. And then you go to the northern lower, you're in the 40s. And in the UP, you're highs in the 30s. And that zone of decent to not so decent is going to stay there for Thursday. Friday, we get a little bit better widespread, about 60 degrees, we'll call it. And then we settle into about 60 to 62, which is cooler than normal, but not too terrible. This is uh, Saturday's high temperatures, low 60s from Detroit to Traverse City to Mackinac. Uh, of course, remember the water. Right on the water, you can always be a lot colder. Uh, no rain for weekend soccer and bird show on the way it looks right now. This is Sunday, and this is Monday, and this is Tuesday, which shows steady temperatures. Hey, good morning, John Alts. Adam just got a flood warning in Macomb. Yeah, there are places there are places in Macomb County and Southeast Lower Michigan where there is, there are roads closed, roads flooded over. So if you drive in those places that get flooded for an inch or two of rain, you're going to want to take an alternate route. Um, because, and again, the rain wasn't extremely heavy, but the drainage is poor also, and things are already soaked. Winds for Friday in the Traverse City area putting the boat in, I would say not too strong because we don't have a big storm system around the area. Safe for annuals and howl yet. Depends on what annual. I found gera uh, geraniums are real uh, tough. Uh, petunias are pretty tough, I do believe, to the frost, but others may not be. Uh, Jeffrey Downer, are any signs of this active pattern stopping? Stopping long-term, no, because remember, it's made by the configuration of the temperatures out in the Pacific Ocean and a couple of the features along the hemisphere uh, that, that keep the average flow going. So long-term stopping, no, but I do believe that we'll have at some point a 7-10 to day lull in it sometime in the early part of May. That's when you stick your garden in. That's when we hope the farmers uh, can get their crops in. They're getting a little late now, and if they can't plant in a week or two, then they're like mid-season late, and another week after that, they're quite late. And then they have to alter the varieties they grow, and the yields generally tend to start to go down at that point. So there you have it. Rain showers today. I would call today a wet day. Uh, tomorrow is a dry day until late afternoon and evening, 
And then Friday's the opposite. Morning wetness, afternoon dry. The weekend right now looks like the best weather we're going to have over the next uh, five days or so. <laughs> Someone wishes I wasn't so accurate, sick of the rain. I'll take being accurate. Occasionally, I will tell you though, occasionally the weather is so terrible that I think, boy, I won't mind being wrong today and nobody will hold it against me if the weather turns out to be better than uh, what's predicted. There you have it. This is MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. I will see you back here tomorrow.